Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed why you should learn Python programming. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. If you are learning any programming language, you should learn the features of that programming language. So that's why in this video, I want to discuss features of Python programming in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. We have n number of features in a Python programming language. One is that it is easy to code. Python is very simple language. Even the kids can also write the coding in the Python. If you know C, C++, Java, JavaScript, etc. Whether you know it or not, you don't worry. If you don't know those languages also, you can learn the Python programming. It is very simple and easy to learn and the number of lines for performing a particular task. If you want to write the same program using the C programming language, then it will take so many lines. But the same task if you want to do using the Python programming, you can do it in very few lines of code. So that's why it is easy to learn and it is one of the beautiful languages. Okay. And coming to the another future, it is free. You can easily download the Python for free of cost. You no need to pay to download the Python and it is a open source. What is meant by open source? The code for the Python is available in internet. You can download it and you can reuse it also. That's why it is free and an open source language. And it is an object oriented language. So you can design the real time things like you can use the classes, objects, polymorphism. So you can provide the security for your codes and you can use the inheritance concepts. So C++ and Java supports the object oriented programming language. However, Python will support the object oriented concepts also. Is it clear? So you should learn the object oriented concepts from the Python. It is because it is very easy. And it is a high level language. I think everyone know that usually we will write the programs in terms of English because machine can only understand the zeros and ones. Okay, so it will understand the binary code only. But as a programmer, it is very difficult for us to write the program in terms of assembly language. Okay, and even in terms of the byte code. So that's why all the programming languages usually will be the high level language where the programmer can easily write the programs. And it is one of the beautiful feature of the Python is it is extensible. Meaning is that you can write a piece of Python code in either C or C++ and that C and C++ program you can compile and get the output. So that is the one of the beauty of the Python and it is portable. What is meant by portable? Suppose let's take that you have written a win Python program in Windows or Windows 10 or Windows 9 or whatever it is. Okay. And you want to run the same program or you have given to your friend. He is using the Linux environment, either Ubuntu or something. Now, if you want to run that program, he can run the program without doing any modification to the program which is written on the windows platform so that is why it is called as a portable okay so whatever the operating system you are using and if you want to run in another operating system you can do without doing any modification to the already written program is it clear and it is dynamically typed language meaning is that let me give a simple example in a C programming language, if you want to assign the value or if you want to initialize the value 5 to the variable called A. Now you have to specify the data type and you have to declare that variable. So how you will do in the C programming language? You will write int because you want to store an integer value. So you will write int A. So you will have the data type and the variable name. Here the data type is int. So you can store the integers. Then you can ask me one thing. Sir, you forgot to mention signed or unsigned. Is it clear? If you does not mention whether it is signed or unsigned, then it will be taken both positive and negative numbers. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? Okay. If you specifically mention if it is signed, then only 
it will be considered. So this does not matter a lot. But data type is very important. So data type you have to mention and then you have to assign the value a is equal to 5. So what I can say is that for every variable you have to explicitly specify the data type. But when it comes to the Python programming, you no need to mention. If you simply write a is equal to 5, okay, if you write a is equal to 5, it is done. Okay, if you are considering it as an integer, then it will consider it as an integer data type. Okay, during the runtime, it will consider the data type. If you are writing a b is equal to 5.5, then it will consider it as a b is a float variable. Is it clear? So, during the runtime, it will consider based on the value which is assigned to that particular variable. So, that is one of the important features of the Python program. So, it is dynamically typed long ways. And one more thing is that any high level long ways, we can convert into a machine level long ways or a low level long ways either by using the compiler or by using the interpreter. If you learn the C, we will have the GCC and C compilers. Am I right or wrong? GCC and CC compilers, which will convert the C program to the object oriented. Sorry, not object oriented to the machine level code, which will be in terms of zeros and ones. Okay. But even coming to the Java, we have the compiler and also interpreter. But coming to the Python, it is an interpreted long ways. So, the high level long ways will be converted into a machine level long ways line by line. Okay. And then it will generate the byte code. Okay. But the issue with the interpreted long ways is they are a little bit slow. Okay, but however, Python, we can use it in n number of applications, all those applications and the packages required to design those applications, I will discuss in the next video. I hope you have understood the features of Python. If you still have any doubts related to the Python programming, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.